But Islam is clear. She has to be mentally and physically mature, not for sex, for marriage. So the, the girl you're going to marry, she has to have the mentality to be a wife. But when I look at history, that was the standard. Yeah? When I look at the people who attacked Muhammad, and they attacked his sex life, they never mentioned this. Why didn't they mention it? Until the 19th century got mentioned. Why? Because before then it was the going rate. So I'll say to you again, do you agree that Muhammad wasn't a paedophile? Yes, I do agree. Alhamdulillah. So Tommy's talking nonsense when he claims to be a paedophile, yeah? Yes. Right, so don't worry about Tommy Robinson nonsense. Yes, Let's move on. Because here's the thing you see in this society, people allow their daughters to find their life partners in nightclubs. First thing, first thing, first thing, first thing. Let's I'm just. Cool no, 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 no. Well, I'm dealing with Tommy Robinson because he's in prison. Yeah. All right. So, a paedophile would not wait three years. A paedophile preys on children. When a child reaches puberty, the paedophile moves on to the next child. That's their standard. All right. Disgusting standard. All right. Now, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was a king of Arabia. If his reasons for marrying Aisha was because he wanted to marry children, have sex with children, he could have had children around the block, mate. Yeah? If he's the author of the Quran, he could have said, yeah, marry children. He could have had, right? But the question we need to ask ourselves, if his, sex, if his purpose of marrying Aisha at such a age, young age was for sexual gratification, why was she the only wife he married who was a virgin? Why were all of his other wives widows and divorcees yeah. when he got married anyway? We're going off topic. No, no, it's the same topic because we're asking, you're implying, not you, sorry, Tommy's implying that the reason he married Aisha so young is because he wanted to have sex with children. Yeah. And yet we find all of his wives other than Aisha were widows and divorcees. So it's the op opposite, opposite of virgins, yeah? Opposite of children, yeah? yeah. And that a paedophile by nature preys and lusts after children. Yeah. So when we look at this and we say, well, that can't be the reason, because if he's lusting after children, why is he not marrying child after child after child? Why is he not having 20 little children all around him? Yeah. We see, so we have to use our but brains. Has that act given people no, no, nobody, no Muslim thinks you can have sex with children. No Muslim does. I'm talking about the people no, no. outside. Because they don't Islam. understand. Education, they're looking into mate. Islam, they're seeing. So do you accept Tommy is wrong, claiming Muhammad is a paedophile? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now, Tommy, how would he respond to that? I don't care what Tommy. No, 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 no. Because no, look, it's easy. You said Tommy uses this. Tommy uses that. Yeah. But I'm saying it's a nonsense that argument. Act of him marrying Aisha at the age of nine. If he was given a message from God, from Allah, sorry, and Allah told him, look, wait. No, but here's the point. Here's what you missed. If you wait later on in the years. People ain't going to be able to use no, but here's the it point. against Islam No, no, here's the point. Weapon. Here's the point. Allah told him to marry her. Yeah, at the age of nine? Yes, whatever age she was. Really? Yes. Because she's very... Listen, I'll say it again to you. you. She's very uh, again, now we're looking at a 21st perspective, retrospectively onto the 6th century. Oh, let's yeah. understand one thing. So Standards are not the same. Do you think your perspective of your daughter no, completely. 100 different. years ago would be different. I have no idea what the perspective of my daughter at that time. Because if civilization except I wouldn't put my kids up chimneys as chimney sweeps back then, would I? I wouldn't put kiddies in workhouses back then. I wouldn't drown women as witches back then. I wouldn't have slaves back then. But times are different. And scenario is this. Look, the question is this. Did he do anything wrong marrying her at that age according to his society? No. no. At that time, no. No. So he did nothing but immoral. The, in this society today? I agree. So yeah, then, this is what I'm saying. To save but God, does it do you like how he's done? He saved God no, 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 but listen. Alcohol, if the bad outweighs well, the good. But the Quran's done it. But if the bad outweighs the good. No, no, but the Quran's done it. So, so that's what I'm saying. That that one act there, if he had told him, marry her when she's 17. But why did. 18, no, but here's the question you see. Why if did he. He got that message. All of this No, why did he marry her so young? Like why, why, no, 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 but the question is this. Why did Allah want him to marry her? That's the question. Ah, Allahu Akbar. That don't make no sense either. Well, it does, because we learn through Aisha and her, she's one of the greatest scholars in Islam, okay? We know all about the intimacies of the life of the Prophet Muhammad and things that occurred through Aisha. Yeah? Now, I told you, what did I say to you? I believe the age 13, 14. I'm not with six and nine, all right? Me personally, um, that's just my opinion based on other things, based on historical records and things like that. All right. But the principle here is this. If she was six and nine, there was nothing immoral about it. Okay. Now today, no, no, listen, listen. Now today, what does the Quran say? 
physical and mental maturity. Yeah. So I'm with you. I think 18 is too young. So do I. Personally, because they're kids, man. Yeah. I see an 18 year old, yeah. you've been 18. Yeah. You're an adult. Yeah. All right. But in this country, get something in your mind. We allow paedophilia. You allow sex with 16 year olds. 16 year olds are not adults, they're children. So all you do in this country is tell you what age the children has to be before you have sex with them. Now, if you go to Portugal, you can have sex with a 13 year old or a 14 year old, I think it is. I think Philippines, you can be 12 as long as you don't pay her. Yeah. Yeah, you understand? But Islam is clear. She has to be mentally and physically mature, not for sex, for marriage. So the, the girl you're going to marry, she has to have the mentality to be a wife and be physically ready to be a wife. Do you think anyone at the age of five could be? Back then, possibly, of course. What's the difference between that age Just, and Just the way we are, the way society is. Society is. Back then there was no teenagers, there was no Xbox generation, there was no X Factor. There were no Back then, TV or anything, no, but a nine-year-old is still a nine-year-old. No, it's a different, different environments. Do you believe in adaptation and so things like that? So you're saying back then a nine-year-old could be like an X Games champion? Like, a nine-year-old a nine-year-old nine is a nine-year-old. No, of course not. You go to she Africa and look at a nine-year-old, you tell me she looks nine. <laughs> huh? Go to Africa, look at a nine-year-old, she'll look about 15, 16. I don't care what the perception of her looks is. Wrong, a nine-year-old is a nine-year-old. No, 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 she's nine. She's, been in this she's, nine. she's nine. She's nine. She can only learn she's been in this world for nine so years. She's been cooking for three years. Yeah. Right, so you go to Africa and the, the girl's young, yeah? She's grown up in a village. She, she just had no uh, X -factor, Xbox to play with or no, no um, Minecraft or anything like that, yeah? She's basically, she's a girl, she's a woman. As soon as she hits, hits her puberty, according to her standards, the family standards, she's a woman. She's probably been cooking before that anyway. Her mentality is to take care of the family. Go to India, you see six years looking after little kids, little baby brothers think, and sisters. I think we're gonna have to disagree on this because- You can't disagree. Well, I have disagree Well, you can't. You. Are, you say, are you disagreeing with me if in India, there's like eight-year-olds looking after their four-year-old siblings? Yeah, yeah but they're still eight-year-olds. They're still- the, their, mind, their mind is, is, is about cooking and cleaning. It doesn't matter. So because my, my daughter doesn't have to cook and clean, no, 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 she's no. more of a no, child. No, 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 I'll say it again to you. Look, back in the sixth century, times were different across the whole world. Yeah, but humanity, humans are humans, like. Are, are you saying to me we're not physio physiologically changed or mentally changed over that time? Seriously? Yeah, we might have like, evolved mentally and... Mentally and physically? Yeah. And we've, well, and we've digressed, as regressed. Adults, as adults, not as nine-year-old people, no. Okay, I'll say it again to you. Back across all civilization, a nine-year-old... Is a nine-year-old? Nine yeah. No. Not yes. Yes. No. <laughs> not you at all. You have done it then. I haven't said anything. No, I haven't done anything. Not at all. Look, I, what did I say to you? It's very, very hard in the 21st century to reconcile this. I get that. Yeah? I've got an eight-year-old. Yeah. yeah? I've got a 14-year-old. My 14-year-old, what? Right? It's, it's, it's mind-boggling. But when I look at history, that was the standard. Yeah? When I look at the people who attacked Muhammad, and they attacked his sex life, they never mentioned this. Why didn't they mention it? Until the 19th century got mentioned. Why? Because before then it was the going rate. Exactly. Now, but the Quran, but the Quran today ends that. It could have. No, no, it, it did. So it's giving you an age of. Four. I'm going to say to you again. No, I believe she was 13 and 14. Yeah, I know, but you said. See, like where they say alcohol is a little bit good and a lot. No, bad. I didn't say that. No, <laughs> alcohol a little bit good. I didn't a lot say that. Bad. So oh, yeah. it's for No, I said no, no. Bad no, no, no. I That's said. What you said. No, I didn't. I'll tell you what the I said. Bad outweighs the good. I'll tell you what I said. I said Allah says. Alcohol's haram. Even though there is some benefit in it, the harm is greater. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what so, said. so using that same yeah. logic, why didn't he blanket it and say, look, this is an age where you... Was she harmed? I'm not saying that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to say, look, if he, had, if, if he had got a message saying, right, don't sleep with anyone until they're 20 years of age, yeah? You can't... This they, is the they, didn't this is the they didn't live that long. They didn't live that long. It was, the, the mortality rate was very young them days. Not that young. They didn't live what we live. Of course it was. Yeah, it has, we, we do The Quran is fair. Mental and physical up, maturity. People were still living up to the age of 60 back then. Really? Yeah. In, in, in that land of war? In that land of uh, slavery? The Romans, the Persians and all of you think people were living the grand old age? So they... No one was living past. No, no, no. No one's saying nobody, are we? We're talking about an environment, a situation. Yeah. And according to that situation and that environment, yeah. people married young. Standard. Yeah. So when Muhammad married young, he did nothing outside he does of the norm. Nothing wrong. I understand. Right. That. 
But, but if you look at it now, yes. with our eyes, he done something wrong. Now, <laughs> yes. now, yes. Yes. now, with our eyes. <coughs> how can I say there's something wrong? Because people are going to say, look, she was nine years no, old. No, how can I say something wrong? How can I say something wrong? Yeah, but yeah. then they'll be saying, so, no, doing wrong. Huh? Do you understand what morality is? Yes. What is it? Your, your morals. What, um, what defines it though? Yeah. Society. Yeah. Society defines your morals, isn't it? it can be, yeah. So you can't call someone immoral if they're doing something society deems moral? No. Right. So what he did was moral, yes? Yes. Right, alhamdulillah. And what the Quran does, it, see the beautiful thing about the Quran is not like England. Yeah, I have sex with this 16. Yeah, uh, Portugal 14 is all right. Philippines 12. No, what the Quran says is clear. You can't just have sex with them. Let's first establish that. Yeah. This is about marriage, mate. Yeah. All right. And they have to be intellectually and physically mature for that purpose. Universal law. So in today's society, that could be like very misinterpreted because like you said, a, a nine year old apparently could be that person. No. Because they're not physically and mentally mature in this day and age. In this day and age? Yes. Why yes. Not? So, Do you know any nine year old physically and mentally mature for marriage? Like you just said, there's some Indian girls that are looking they're not. I don't, think they're, cooking, I don't think they're physically yeah. mature. So what makes them physically mature? Their bodies. Well, obviously they've got to be ready for marriage, so isn't it? a nine year old. Having babies and all a of this. A nine year old. I don't know. The f I do ready. not know. I'll, I'll say it again could, to you. First thing, stop ready, straw manning me. I said she was 13, 14, in my opinion, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying to you is this. You don't know the physiological body of a nine-year-old then, do you? It isn't going to be much... How do you know? Prove it. Now. Prove it. 100 years ago. Prove it. Man. Prove it. So, okay. so, 14, so why would they marry six-year-olds in London? A nine-year-old walking around why with they marry tits and fucking big Who knows? On, let's talk listen, about listen. They were marrying six-year-olds in London 800 years ago. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't mean that they were walking around with big titties and they were like physically No, but the principle ready. is this. You do not know the physiological you state. A nine-year-old can be physically No, no. Did you prove, can you prove what you're saying? No, you... Brother, no, can you? It also talks about the boys as well. They also have to be physically fit. For example, in here, nine years old, they can earn. So he's not ready to get married. What I'm saying to you is this. Can you prove what you're saying? That well. the physiological body of a, a girl back then wasn't different to a girl back now. I can't do that. Can you do that? Can you I'm not that? trying to say you are trying. different. You no, you are. No, you're saying that they were different. No, I'm saying... I'm saying a nine-year-old girl right now, yeah. today's nine-year-old yeah. girl, her body isn't yeah. physically I agree. Ready. Yes. How do you know it wasn't I mean, different back then? You're saying... No, no, you're, you're saying, saying it. Back then, no, you're saying it was the same. It wasn't the same. No, you're, you're saying, saying it, it wasn't You're saying it was the same. I'm saying it was the same. Prove it. Uh, prove it! You're saying it wasn't the same? No, I'm saying I don't know. I'm prove saying it was the same. How do I need to prove that something's a steady course? You prove to me that it wasn't. No, no, no. No, no, no. You can't say it's a steady course because you don't know whether it's evolved I from that. I just said that it's a steady course. The same, the nine-year-old. No, but they were marrying nine-year-olds. So there must be something different, surely. Yeah. Why are you marrying nine-year-olds? Yeah, why? Why are people I'm marrying nine No, they were though. People were. Yes. Across the and whole world. I said to you, Does that tell you something? Allah got a message no, no, no. saying to no, no why are men, why are men, a why are men across the world marrying nine-year-olds? I don't care. Well, there must be a reason, innit? They can't all be paedophiles, can they, surely? No. If it's set in law in England. No, I understand that. No, no. But so, so no, but that tells you about the, the physical form of the girls and the mentality of the girls. I don't know. I understand all what you're right? saying. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm with you. To reconcile the 21st century mind into that, looking at my eight-year-old and my 14-year-old, so I get why it. Why didn't he get a message to say this should be a law? Because if he had got a message, listen, let me finish here. If he had got a law saying we won't consummate any marriages until uh, a female is, say, 18 years of age, yeah? Right. Why 18? 18 because, let's just say 18. Why 18? I can't, I can't, no, look at nature. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as the animal reaches its thing, it's on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now, if you're an atheist coming from that standard, what's your animals? problem? Well, what, are you an atheist? Are you, do you want to act like an animal? No, no, I don't. I'm not an atheist. But an atheist has no problem with that. I don't want to act like an no, animal. No, no. Well, do you have a problem with that as an atheist saying that? No. You don't? I, ha I don't, don't have a problem. Do you believe we're animals? Yes. So, right, so when animals do that thing, we can't do that thing. I don't want to act like an no, animal. No, I'm not saying you are well, an animal, you just said. Yes, but I'm not a, like a primitive animal. Well, what's the difference? The difference is I have a way No, no, what I'm saying, if you're an, are you an animal the same as an animal in the, in the jungle? A tiger or a cow. Physiologically? Same as them. Physiologically, yes, we have. Right, you, so you, do you have an issue when uh, a dog has sex with a, a, a bitch dog when she reaches uh, heat? No. No, you don't have a problem with that, do you? No. Right, so why do you have a problem with human beings there? Yeah, well, just to understand it, as an atheist. We're not, we're we are not. animals, you just said. Okay, so you'll be quite happy for a fully Me, no. man. Me, no. No. 
So then why are you saying it to me then? Because you're the one who's the atheist who believes it's I'm okay not for... I'm an atheist. I'm oh, you're not an atheist. I'm someone that wants to join. Haven't I said this? What's that embrace? No, no, alhamdulillah. You haven't given me one good reason yet. I'm giving you the very good reasons. No, you don't. Trust me. Everything Trust me. Like, I've, I've been here, man. You're trying to say to me, because Mohammed married a nine-year-old... No, I'm oh, trying no, no, no. to say to you, if Mohammed had got from um, Gabriel, the angel, Allah, right. whatever, got a law saying to not marry until the age of, like... Oh, let's, let's say that happened, you become Muslim. No, no, no. What then? That, say if that happened, yeah. people wouldn't be able to attack Islam All right. for people. Well, unfortunately, that's what unfortunately, so why? Because 1400 years ago, that was the way of the world, mate. Yeah, I know, but we're talking about that's today. Right. Yeah, and I agree with you. And today, I don't sanction marrying children. 1400 years ago, uh, the problem is, I understand what you're saying. So, what I'm saying to you is this to try and reconcile, I say, to the 21st century mind to that is impossible. It's very, very hard. I understand that. But to see, like how. But I'll say it again to you. If my creator says it was okay, it was okay. Whether it's okay now, it's not okay, because my creator says it's not okay now. But my creator said it was okay then. So there must have been a reason why it was okay then. And to go back to your claim that of Tommy saying he was a paedophile, it goes against the idea that if he was a paedophile... Well, listen... That act give Tommy the ambition? That Tommy knows what he's talking about, mate. How can you call some... Okay, if he was a paedophile, why did he wait... That is fact. I don't believe it is. I don't believe it is. I just think it's an excuse. No, no, did heck. It's nonsense, mate. So Ali Doe are looking like a complete prat on that video because of that same thing. No. Not at all. No. Not at all. That's not ammunition for him. No, the, what, what Tommy did on that video was shotgun tactics. He just hit him with so many different things, yeah. you couldn't respond to all of yeah, them. And he wouldn't right. So I'll say to you again, do you agree that Muhammad wasn't a paedophile? Yes, I do agree. Alhamdulillah. So Tommy's talking nonsense when he claims to be a paedophile, yeah? Yes. Right. So don't worry about Tommy Robinson nonsense. Yes. Let's move on. Move on. Move on. Because Tommy will find something else. Ask another question. No, no, no. So basically what we were doing is uh, so, we were so talking about the lie. I've got so far is... Yeah, go on. There isn't a, a, you haven't given me a, a, an example of a proper way to, to, to live apart from don't gamble, don't have credit. I'm not even doing that right now. What I'm doing, there's no point me giving you a guide to life if you don't believe that guide to life has come from God, do I? Because you ain't going to adhere to that. Well, if that guide to life is a good guide to life, how would you care? No, no, what if it's a bad, what if, what if it's a guide to life you don't like, like your missus has to cover up? You ain't going to do it, are you? No. Right. Would you do it if you knew what the creator said to do it? No. So you wouldn't do what your creator says? No, probably not. So why if it's going to upset my missus, why would I? Why would I upset someone for something that I can't actually... No, 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 no. I, just, I don't actually know No, 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 no. Feel. No, that's the whole principle. If you believed that the creator said for your missus to cover up, yeah. Would you advise your missus to cover up? No. Even if the creator said to? Yeah. And you believe the creator said it? Yeah. Because well, I actually, I wouldn't believe the creator said No, 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 that wasn't the question. The that wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. So you were saying to me that the creator could tell me, could tell me to do something that might upset someone else? Yes. Yes? Yeah. What kind of creator does that? To their benefit. To whose benefit? To whomever he's given the guidance to. It's not always benefit though to cover I, up. I believe it's always benefit, personally. I believe your belief though. Of course it is. And I'm telling you why I believe it. Yeah, because men are insecure and they can't control their own emotions. Not no. Yeah. I didn't say that. Basically, did. No, I didn't. I give you an example, anecdote of one guy. Yeah. I didn't say that's the reason, did I? What did I say initially? I can't so tell you why. Like it, every anecdote I get is about the same sort of thing. It's about men not being able to control their self. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I said to you that this guy's route to happiness was a woman, and I explained to him, following the guidance of this society, you're not going to keep that woman. But following the guidance of Islam, you would. Because you wouldn't have that insecurity. Now, not everyone's going to have that insecurity, but this particular guy I was referring to would have. Because he's a gangster. Hmm. Simple. He's got a stand, he's got a reputation. He, he's the man who's looking at his missus. Standard. So that's why I brought that example. But what I'm saying to you is this. So you, you, I'm saying to you, if you believed... So it sounds like you're saying that women should wear a hijab because there's morons out there. I told you why they should wear hijab, didn't I? Because there's morons out there. No, I know that's not the reason I... That's not what I said to you. There's a video on YouTube. One second, one second, one second. Yeah. That's not what I said to you. No, I've just said that. No, what did I say? Why did I say to you, I believe it's good for women to wear hijab? What did I say? Because it takes temptation away. From I didn't say that. What did you say? I said to you, because that, because I said to you, if your missus embraced Islam and she didn't wear hijab, who would know she's a Muslim? Nobody. Who so would the benefit of wearing a hijab is and then, and then a, no no what, what I said to you is this human beings by nature are social creatures yeah. we gravitate towards like-minded people yeah. this is how we roll birds of a feather flock together yeah. so when a Muslim woman goes out in the street without a hijab no other Muslim woman knows she's a Muslim yeah. and therefore they don't give a salam 
So she doesn't even feel like a Muslim because no one's recognizing her as a Muslim. So that's the by wearing why no 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 I didn't job. say that's the reason why I did that. I said to you why I believe a good reason for is that. Okay. I don't I said look, you watch the video man, I said to you from the very very beginning, I don't know why Allah legislated hijab. I'll give you a few reasons why I could rationalize it. Yeah. I don't know if that's a reason. I can't tell you why Allah said don't eat pork. I can rationalize it. I can understand. Don't drink alcohol, I can rationalize it. But I can't tell you why not. See see like Sorry, I'm shouting, forgive me. The alcohol and the, 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 the bacon, you can understand why you should no, no, but really the, have that. Right, alcohol. so once you see... But your missus being covered up because you're uh, safe for your insecurities doesn't sound like something that will come from the... Okay, time. my missus, I'll say that she's Moroccan. And if she didn't wear hijab and she dressed like these Western women, yeah, people would be chipsing her all day long. <laughs> Oh, you're good number, love. That's that, yeah. Yeah, but if you're no, no, listen, listen. A nice loyal woman, she says, "Sorry, I'm." She doesn't want to be harassed. Yeah, yeah, but she's gonna be she's harassed. I'll explain something to you. I'll explain she's something to you. One second, one second, one second. Let me explain something to you. I've walked down the road. Have you ever tried to chat up a nun? Hang on. Have you ever tried to chat up a nun? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I have walked down the road. You could uh, like there's Muslim women walking up and down here now, yeah. Yeah. Are they getting harassed all the time? What without hijab? Without anything. There's a woman there. She getting. How do you know she's Muslim? Huh? How do you know she's Muslim? You see, so you're saying that hijab is just for identification then? I just said, of course that's what I just said. So it's just for identification? No, no, I, oh so my no Gideon, I can't, Rob, I can't keep repeating myself. I said yeah, to you, lady, no, no, one said, one second, one second. Rob, 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 please, please, please. Have you been harassed? Well, no, yeah. well, what's the point? Well, how can you ask a sister in hijab, have you been harassed without your hijab yeah. on? It's a yeah. stupid question, no disrespect, Rob. Okay, so if she's okay, wearing fair enough. Let me say to you again, let me use an example, let me give you an example, let me give you an example. Do you accept that Muslim women have different values to Western women? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Right. So when a Muslim woman wears hijab, what's she telling you? That she's respecting her husband and she wears No. Her no. That's what she's telling me. No. She's telling you, I'm a Muslim. Yeah, she's okay. a Muslim. Yeah? She's telling you, yeah. I'm a Muslim. Now, when you see this girl's a Muslim, you automatically think, oh, they've got different values. She's not going to go out well, for well, a Please, I don't need this kind of bit echo. Relax. Okay. So, when she says, uh, when you see this hijab, she's saying to you, I'm a Muslim. And what she's basically saying with that hijab is, I'm a Muslim. I don't have boyfriends. I don't go for drinks and for bars and all that. So don't waste your time. That's what the hijab is saying to you. Now, if she didn't have a hijab on, you don't know she's a Muslim. You don't know what value she's carrying. And therefore you might say, I know you're in a relationship, whatever, but you might be a geezer who's not in a relationship. And you see, oh, she's pretty. Cause you don't wear a hijab, hair might be done, a bit of makeup, whatever. I'll try my luck here. I do love, all right, fancy drink. Seriously, okay. That's the difference in the hijab. I, I see it as that way. So when my missus wears hijab, she's telling any man, I'm a Muslim. So don't ask me for my number. Don't try and chat me up. Doesn't the wedding ring do the same thing? No, she doesn't wear a wedding ring. No, but doesn't the wedding ring? We don't see the ring. Oh, yeah, sometimes we have ribbon rings everywhere. Please don't try and chat me up. No, no, no. The principle is this. The hijab is telling the woman. The I'm wedding ring does, doesn't it? Yeah. So you don't have to be uncomfortable in this horrible heat. No, no, no. You can just no, have the a no, 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 no. Yeah. I'll say it again to you. My missus, or Muslim women, like my sister here, she's telling any guy around, I have different values to what you may have. Yeah? So I'm not the kind of girl to invite for a drink. Because I'm a Muslim, I don't drink alcohol. Now, you might see a girl and think, ah, oh, do you fancy a drink, love? Or whatever. Because you don't know she's Muslim and you've got all of the values. So for me, that's what the hijab screams. It lets you know. So, and listen, listen. So it lets you know that she's a Muslim and her values are different to yours. Okay. okay. It also lets other Muslim sisters know I'm a Muslim and my values are the same as yours. It also lets Muslim brothers know if you see me in trouble, you you know I'm your sister in Islam and you know that I don't drink and this that the other. So please help me. This is what this is why I say about the identity thing. Yeah. A rationalization. I'm not saying that's the reason why for it, but it's a benefit for it. Yeah. And in Islam, the Quran, Allah says, what to the believing men? Listen, listen. Allah says to the men, lower your gaze. And then He says to the women, cover. So first commandment is to the men, look away. Yeah. A woman doesn't want you looking at her, right? But. So I kind of got a problem there. What's the problem? It still sounds like the Creator created something that He can't trust. What? How'd you get that? Because He's. Men, so keep your eyes down, okay. women cover Understand up. one thing, like, God created, create uh, I'll explain to you. Like he, created us, he created us with free will yeah. to choose, choose and refuse. He's given us the guidance, so he gives me the guidance, don't luck. So I don't luck. There are some men who don't have the guidance, they might luck. So the woman is told, don't attract the luck. Yeah? Cover the beauty. So he's got nothing to look at, nothing to attract his luck. 
Yeah? So it's a two-way thing. First, men lower your gaze. For those men who can't lower their gaze, okay. women, you need to protect yourself. So God created, Allah created these beautiful women for no one to gaze upon. Yeah. Yeah, they're whole of You've got no right to see my wife's beauty. Yeah. No right at all. And my Regardless wife doesn't want you to see it. it's your wife or not, it's humanity's beauty. It's like, it's like... Are you saying you have the right to look at women's beauty? Trees. We should cover them up. Okay. Do you believe you have the right to see other women's beauty when they don't want you to? I, depends on how you're looking at it. What do you like, mean? Like, a beautiful woman walking past, I should appreciate it and think, oh, that's a pretty woman. But if I'm going to go up to her and try it on with her, knowing full work... No, you might do, though. Not you. Not you. Then but there are men who do. Yeah, but that's because they So then God has made them. So, so in his wisdom, God says to the woman, because some men can't control themselves. They can't. So God has made a creation. God has made a provision for the woman as a protection for her. So men can't create themselves? There are some men. Men, can't, yeah, control men can't control themselves. Yes, there are men who can't control some themselves. Men, uh, I'm not saying all men, yeah. but some there are some men. Because men can't control this, some men can't control themselves. The women have a, protect a protection. The rest of us aren't allowed to look at anything pretty. What? We, we shouldn't look. The rest of us that can control themselves, I should look at something pretty. But what if you, so you look at someone pretty and another person tries to grab her or tries to chat her up and harass her and whatever? Yeah. Alright, so does she need you looking at her? No one said to you. Actually, some women do like it. It's a good oh, no, And the women who like to be looked at won't wear hijab. Yeah, it, it's, there's nothing wrong with walk, Like If you walk down the street and you're not married or anything at this time, but you get some female attraction, like someone's like... Oh, you, you're very handsome, man. It gives you confidence and it makes you feel better. What's wrong with that? Say it again, sorry? If someone gives you compliments, like females give you compliments, it, give, it gives you... Um... Yeah, but here's the thing. Women don't want you being, giving them compliments. Straight, they don't want strange men talking to them. So... Do you think yeah, women want strange men talking to them? Woman that's no, no, married. Do you think, no, do you think women want strange men talking to them? No, but... So me going past a, a woman saying good day to you. That's 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 there's something wrong with that. Well, we're not talking. What did I say to you? I didn't say all men, did I? No, but that's what I just said to you. Well, no. So because of the ones that can't control themselves, the ones that can control themselves yeah. have to like they basically they're not allowed to be themselves. So they're not allowed to say to her. Hi. Yeah. God, God look. Th there are some women who don't want you to talk to them. Yeah, I understand. Right, right. And when they wear the hijab. They're telling you, I don't want to talk to you. So when they've got a wedding ring on, they're telling you that... I don't know what that wedding ring's all about, to be honest with you. Yeah. Anyway, the they might say I'm married. Thing. Well, no, no. But well, well, the hijab is visible. It's, you can see it from here, mate. You can't tell from here. A ring is visible. A ring is visible? Yeah. It's visible. It's not invisible, is it? It's visible. Oh, okay. So a wedding ring is a Christian thing, yeah? Yeah? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You don't have to be Christian. No, no, but it is a Christian thing, isn't it? You don't have to be Christian. Okay. What if she's not married? What if she's just in a relationship and she's got no wedding ring on? Then she could turn around and say, sorry, I'm Yeah, but that's... Too, yeah, but... All right. Well, he said, oh, sorry, I'm married. Sorry, I'm married. Sorry, I'm married. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, the hijab does all of those things. And like I say to you, if you see a sister in hijab, the likelihood is she doesn't want you to say hello to her. Because there's no interaction. She doesn't know you. She doesn't know your intentions. You could be honourable, but she doesn't need to... to, to so keep... how did she get married in the first place? What do you mean? How does someone approach her and talk to her? Because she doesn't want this. It, it doesn't work that way. What do you mean? You <laughs> It doesn't work. That we don't. We don't. Do, we don't find out. Women don't want you coming up to them saying hello. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't get married that way, don't, though. We don't. So how does she get married in the first place? We arrange place? Someone them. Arrange it. To arrange it. Arrange it. So is that how you look? Yeah, of course it is. It's all arranged marriage. Of course it is. Not all. Not all. Okay. Of course it is. My daughter's gonna have an arranged marriage. Yeah, I can't do the whole arranged marriage. You can't you? No, do you know why we're doing an arranged marriage? Sorry. Shall, shall, shall I tell you why we're doing an arranged marriage? There's no, in my opinion. No, but shall I tell you why I'm gonna do an arranged marriage for my daughter? You can, but. All right, and, and I think you'll agree with me. I wouldn't. Oh, we'll see you now. You haven't heard me yet. That's not fair. I can guarantee you I wouldn't. Really? Yeah. All right, let's see. When, I, when my daughter gets married, all my rights are removed. And her husband takes on all those rights. So all the uh, protections, all the uh, support financially and everything like that is rescinded from me. And the husband has to take on that role. So basically, I need a guy to marry my daughter who could do my job, right? So you sound like you're becoming a pimp. <laughs> what? Right, well, well, let, me say, let me say that again, let me say that again. Let me say that again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, 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 let's hear that. Let's, let's understand that rationale. One second, one second. Let me understand how you interpreted what I just said. I'll say it again. I need a guy to marry my daughter who can do my job. Meaning, she needs to marry a guy like me 
who's going to care for her like I care for her and take care of her as I take care of her and protect her as I protect her. Would you agree? This is why, <laughs> this is why when, um, for example, um, people say, why can, why can Muslim women not marry non-Muslim men? But Muslim men can marry non-Muslim women. Yeah? Why is that? It's not fair. Why can't a Muslim woman marry a non-Muslim man? It's very, very simple. I know my daughter, if she marries a non-Muslim man, can't do my job. He doesn't have my values. He doesn't give her the protection that Allah gives her. But we've already had the discussion where non-Muslims can have the same values as Muslims without being Muslim. No, if, if your guidance is from Allah. So basically, the way I, the, the protection I give my wife and what I have to give my wife is set in stone. Yeah, the way I have to deal with her is set in stone. The rights my wife has is next level. Yeah, and therefore, the only person who can give the rights to a Muslim woman is if they know the rights of a Muslim woman. And them rights come from Allah. So if a Christian man marries my daughter, his values are not Islamic. Okay. Right, so he doesn't have the values I have. Right, so going back to the arranged marriage. Now I'm not saying, girl you're marrying him and that's it. No. Who, 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 who you want to marry? This guy? Okay, let me speak to him. Okay, he's back. Yeah? And someone says, oh, I've got my son, he wants to get married. Really? Let me speak to him. And I say, look, I've met this guy, he's got a son, and, and if, if, if they're compatible in what they want to do in life, yeah? If I see that he's in his religion and I know he's going to protect her, I'm going to do that. Because here's the thing you see, in this society, people allow their daughters to find their life partners in nightclubs, in reality. Now, you wouldn't buy a car in a nightclub, would you? No, for no, if you you wouldn't buy in a car in a nightclub, would you? No. Someone you'd be like, yeah, mate, you want to buy his car? Yeah, look, you want to buy it? You're like, Who's this guy? Right. But people find their life partners in nightclubs. Okay. So when I say arrange, you were thinking of this kind of forced marriage straight away. That I'm making a marry who I want her to marry. No. I'm going to make sure she marries someone who is going to be able to take care of her as I take care of her. Now we know in girls and women, they're emotional. Their hormones are crazy. They think they love a geezer. And if you look in society, and you look at how many times a girl was in love with a bad boy, and she brings him home. Well, they say that most How old your daughter, did you say? I've got one that's eight, one that's four. Eight. So you're coming to it. So when she comes home with her boyfriends, you're gonna look at him and think, you're yeah, flipping, do you're a dodgy one, mate. But your daughter loves him. And what will happen, because they think they know everything, 14 year olds and 15 year olds, they're going to make a choice. And the likelihood is they're going to go with who they think they, they love and spend their life with and, you, and leave. And then what happens is you'll say to her, you go with him, you're cut off from me. And then he will get hold of her then, he will ostracize her, and then whatever happens, happens. Okay, beautiful thing in Islam. My daughter ain't having boyfriends. <laughs> it just ain't on. She doesn't want boyfriends, and it's not, it's just not, it's not even an, an option. So I don't have that worry. Yeah, so there's no boyfriends coming through the door who's a toll rag. So basically, when she wants to get married, what she say when she's 23, she wants to go to uni first. She wants to do, uh, I think, four years um, interior design course. So she's looking to get married when she's 23, which is fine. Alhamdulillah. And when it comes to time to get married, she might meet someone in uni. I've met this guy. But well, I'm going to vet the geezer, and if he can't do my job, it ain't happening. But if I see the guy... See, that's a little bit less arranged marriage. Than... No, it's arranged. Yeah. No, but I know. But that's why I said to you, you went, oh, no, never, I guarantee. But you... you. No, because she went and met the fella. No, she might do. She might do. She might do. But a Muslim brother might come to me and say, look, my, my boy's looking to get married. He's practicing his religion. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a doctor. You know, and he's. Um, he, would you be interested in maybe uh, your daughter marrying him? So what would you have? What would you do now if you pick this guy? You said that this guy ticks all the boxes for me. And she says no. No, no. She says yes. She marries uh, him. And then six years down the line, he turns out to be something completely different. Okay. Then I'll. Wouldn't you feel bad? Then I will encourage her to divorce him. No, uh, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't you feel bad for uh, no. encouraging her to marry him? I'll tell you why I wouldn't. I'll tell you why I wouldn't. Yeah. Because someone said this about you know people embracing Islam, and a lot of people leave Islam when they embrace Islam because they, they find it a bit tough and whatever. And a lot of the brothers who recently embraced Islam with me, they've uh, some have left. Yeah. And um, someone says to me, do you feel bad about it? And I said, no, because I did my due diligence. I did what I could do. Yeah. They embraced Islam. I give them good reasons to embrace Islam. And when they embraced Islam, I held their hand a little bit, give them guidance. I was there, support, whatever, whatever. And if they don't feel it's for them and they leave, Alhamdulillah, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Why? Because 
I did it's what I could do. No. So when it comes to my daughter, marriage. no, no. Because why? I've done my due diligence. I've looked at the geezer. I've looked at his character. Yeah, but now she's she, she's stuck in a position where she's not with the fellow no more. She's got two. Oh, oh, okay. If she's not with the fellow no more, very very simple. Come back home, darling. Yeah. No, how would how would other Muslims see your daughter now from then on? What do you mean? She's divorced Muslim. No, she's no, no, no. That's not an issue, mate. Listen. I don't know. Okay. That's first thing, I'm life ain't perfect. Not everyone's gonna have a fairy tale romance. Yeah, things. Sometimes people have personality clashes and whatever it is. Yeah. It is what it is. It's not like oh, she's damaged goods now or anything like that nonsense. Okay, no, because in some cultures that's that yeah, but we're, we're talking about Islam here. Islam yeah, is the um, purest of cultures. You yeah, we don't have this nonsense. Look, if a marriage doesn't work out, the marriage doesn't work out. If a marriage doesn't work out, because. But why not? Okay, no, I'm just asking. You don't have to remain a, a spinster because you, your marriage didn't work. Marry again, it's not a problem. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so you're happy with my arranged marriage, yeah? I would never do it. No, no but you, you, so you're telling me you would never vet the geezer or find the guy that you think is going to suit your daughter? Really? I would like to meet him and obviously yeah. I would give her my opinion. But whether or not she marries him is based on her choice, nothing to do with me. No, 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 that's different. I didn't say that, did I? I said, let's say your mate said, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to introduce her to this guy because I think he's a good guy. Really? No. So you think these guys are fantastic? I'm a 40-year-old man. She, she's a young child. No, but you might have a mate who's got a 20-year-old boy. No, no, I understand that. Like, but I'm not gonna like without knowing this kid. I'm not gonna just yeah. because his dad's a woman banker. No, 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 no. No, you gotta know the kid. You gotta know the kid. You gotta, you gotta vet the kid. But what I'm saying to you is this: Are you saying to me that you're gonna allow your daughter, with all her hormones racing, to choose her own life partner? Yeah. And then you're questioning me about me doing my due diligence. But I'm also gonna do my. So how would you feel? How would you feel after six years? The geezer's a waster, and you never did your due diligence on him. But the thing is, what you're saying is, you. If she spends three years with this guy before marrying him, then she's gonna know what he's like. Could your future daughter's husband be an alcoholic? Could be. Yeah, he might not be when they met. No, no, but could he be? Could he become one? Could do. Yeah. Anyone? Uh, no, no, no. If you yes. follow the teachings of Islam, you can never be an alcoholic. So there's no drunk. No, no. If you're following the teachings of Islam, if you're following the teachings of Islam, you can't become an alcoholic. Okay. So if I marry my daughter to a geezer who's following the teachings of Islam, he's not become an alcoholic. So as a guarantee, he's not going to become a man. If he follows the teachings of Islam, no. Yeah, but say he like stops, stops following the teachings of Islam. Don't worry, I'll have vetted him first. I'll understand why he's Muslim. So you can see into the future and guarantee that this person here in four years' right. time is going to be a Muslim. I, 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 I can see to the future. He hasn't, he hasn't had hardship. Right. I'll, I'll say this, which I'll make a very simple one for you, yeah? Allah. I'll make it easy for you, yeah? Uh, I'll never ever drink alcohol again in my life. Okay. Inshallah. All right. And I can make that promise now. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure there are people who believe for the right reason, you see. See, if you believe your creator is the one that's guiding you, intellectually convinced by it, yeah, you won't have a problem um, following the guidance. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, it, but it's got to be intellectual. Can't be emotional. Yeah, because some things in Islam you might hate. You might hate the fact that you can't go to the pub and watch a football anymore. You might hate that fact. But it's a reality. Why would you not be allowed to? Why? Yeah. Okay, first, we don't draw alcohol. Second thing... You don't have to go to the pub to drink alcohol. Uh, no, no, go but you're going to be surrounded by people game. who do drink alcohol. Yeah. So what? All right, so you can become a victim of someone drinking alcohol. See, the whole point of alcohol is because it changes the state of mind. Yeah. So it makes no sense for you to drink coke and be surrounded by people who are changing their state of mind. I was doing it last night. Yeah, I know. And I, I can show you many, many cases where people have become victims of other drunk people in nightclubs. Yeah. I, I've been victim myself and I've been the perpetrator myself. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I've had, had a fight people because I've had a drink. Have you had a fight with people when you haven't had a drink? It's very hard for me to have a fight with people when I've not had a drink. Yeah. Very hard. In schools, school maybe, anything. No, it's always been alcohol related, man. You know, it's always been nightclubs, it's always been pubs. It sounds very circumstantial, like. No, no, no. What I'm saying to you is this. We believe in the benefit for human beings. All right. If you're in an environment where people around you are drinking and could change their state of mind and could become crazy and loon, why would you put yourself in that situation where you could become a victim of their craziness? Yeah. But you could also, you could be like in a football stadium where there's no alcohol being sold 
Are you telling me that there's going to be no, 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 no. Well, the likelihood is. Listen, if you want to go to a football stadium and have a fight, you can have a fight. No, if you want to go to a football stadium and watch a match, you can watch a match. So you're saying basically because they're drunk, there's going to be no, no, no. I'm no, no, no. I'm if saying you go to somewhere where there ain't drunk people. It's all about it's all about the risk. It's all about the risk factor. Look, if you want to go to a Millwall Tottenham game, yeah. you know there's going to be trouble. Yeah. No, no matter where you go, family stand is still going off. Yeah. If you went to a a, a Tottenham um, Southampton, there's going to be no. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be all right, innit? So you know where trouble's going to be with football. I used to be uh, Cardiff City, I used to be Stockport County. So I knew, for example, when Stockport played Bolton, there's no issues. When Stockport played Stoke, next level. Yeah? Uh, when Cardiff played Bristol City, it's going off. Cardiff, Swansea, whatever. All right. So you know, if you, if you want to go for aggro, you go for aggro. But we're talking about a principle here of it's the alcohol that's causing the problem there. So even though you're not drinking alcohol, you could become a victim of that. Look, I worked in a pub on Christmas Eve before I became Muslim. But I stopped drinking alcohol two years before embracing Islam because I recognised the, Ill, the evilness and the... What's it, evilness? That's the wrong word. I, I recognised the detriment within it. All right. And basically, um, I worked behind the bar. Effectively teetotal. And I watched this place transform into something else. I'm not joking, bro. People no, come in and this is a this is a South Wales council, white council estate. Christmas Eve. It transformed for you. It stays the same. The people around no the people around me changed into something else. The women became banshees. Yeah. Everything became like what the everyone became paranoid. You saw it in a different way. Uh, right. Yeah, well no but I see no, no but I seen it with, with sober eyes. Yes, I've done the same thing. So I've seen these people change and I've seen the actions they're partaking in now. No, listen, listen. I've seen the actions they're partaking in now would not have been the same if they weren't drinking. So going back to my original principle, if you're in an environment where people are drinking and you're not, you can become a victim of that craziness. I had a geezer wanted to fight me, right, in a pub because I wasn't drinking. You know what he said to me? He goes, why not drinking? I says, oh, I'm all right, I'm having a coke, mate. Yeah, listen, no, listen, 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 listen. Like you could get run over by a No, 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 listen, yeah. listen. No, no, the geezer said to me, why not drinking? I said, I'm having a coke, mate. He goes, you're not driving, are you? I said, no, I'm just having a coke. Why well, are not drinking beer, then? So I gave him a lecture on alcohol, right? You know what he did? He stood up, he went, Oh, it's good enough for us, not good enough for you. <laughs> what the yeah, that's the mentality of a lot of No, no, no. Well, that's what happens with drunk people. They don't think straight. Yeah. So why would I, me, go and sit in a place where people around me are getting into a state where they're not thinking straight and they're going to do things they may not normally do? Why would I be, why would I be there? So in, in Islam, I should not be in a place where alcohol is being served because everything's nipped in the bud. So all the, the detriments of alcohol, for example, I'm, I'm protected from. Now, I can't help it if someone's at a football match drinking a beer. I, I can't do anything about that. The reality is I don't go to football anymore. I, I couldn't imagine it. It'd be weird. I can't swear anymore. No, I can't swear anymore. You know what I mean? No, I can't. I don't have a chance to swear, is there? you join us later? You going now? Yeah. All right, yeah. We're going to do market over there. OK, Charles, are you leaving right now? Right. Two minutes, yeah? Two minutes, 60 seconds. <laughs> right, so, yeah, we'll do the following time. Yeah, so, um, because look, I remember Glory, Glory, Man United. When I was used to go to Old Trafford, it was Glory, Glory, Man United. Now it's, ooh, the f you know what I mean? I wouldn't, feel, I wouldn't even feel uh, morally right singing that song, especially because I know there's kids about. But for some reason, you go to football, there's anything goes, little kids, and you're swearing, and, yeah. and he's like, wait, 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 what's going yeah, on? You see and videos on social media with little kids putting their fingers oh, up. Honestly, the and worse than that, people say to me, people have the audacity to say to me, name. religion is the cause of uh, violence between human beings, right? Mm. I say, listen, mate, watch any football game on the box, any football game you like, and wait till the opposition get a corner. Just watch that little section. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Men will fight over anything, any excuse. You know what I'm saying? So what they do with religion, they try to say, oh, that's a reason for it. No, men want an, they'll have a reason to fight. Anything different. Why, why are Millwall fighting Tottenham? Really? What's it all about? But they I did. Don't get involved in all of that. Yeah, I bet you did though. No, no, no. Really? Uh, yeah. I had to go to United for the prawn sandwiches and the stop over the, the aggro. That's 21. That's when I started watching football. Is it? Yeah, it's I've always like. supported uh, Tottenham because of my brother. Okay, mashallah. Yeah. Rob, we have to go because we're going to yes. go eat. It's been a pleasure, man. It's been fun, inshallah. But please watch the video. Yes. And at least. Is it going to be on your channel? Yeah. And, and look back at it and just look at the. the, the, the Look, the four variables I said. I want, what I want you to do, I'm back here. Can you come back here on the 16th of September? Yes. Right. 
It's a date, yeah? yeah? I don't care who Spurs are playing or United are playing, right? <laughs> Probably playing each other. Anyway, we come back on that date, and I want you, because basically this is going to boil down to two things. Either Mohamed Lido is telling the truth. Yeah. And I, I want to hear your uh, argument for the lie. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do your homework. Thank you very much. Let us do it. Take care. Take care. Take care. How do you doing? Alhamdulillah. Shall we do it quickly? Yeah, that's what I had to do. It was so much, wasn't it? I'm just going to do my hatchet job now, you don't mind. Oh, this is, this is it's all right, it's all right. It's just, a, you know what it is, isn't it? It's just summarising basically what went on because it went here, there and everywhere, man. I, I can't remember half the stuff we spoke about. All right, um, okay, that was Rob. Very, very nice guy, Tottenham fan. Um, interested in Islam, but he, he wants to know good reasons uh, to be Muslim. Why should he become Muslim? Questioning the authority of Allah. Started off talking about the hijab. Um, and I, inshallah, I hope I explain nicely about the hijab and what it means. It's basically a Muslim woman telling people in society, I'm a Muslim woman. And by saying that, she's saying, I've got particular values that may not be compatible with your values. So if, basically don't, don't, don't talk to me, don't ask me out for a drink and whatever. At the same time, she's telling other Muslim women, look, I'm a Muslim, you know, let's talk, let's chat and whatever. Anyway, oh, we went everywhere. So, the main principle initially was all about, again, it's the four propositions, it's the four uh, claims. Is Muhammad a liar? Is he crazy? Is he delusional? Is he telling the truth? Um, Rob, he resisted nicely. He did a beautiful job because basically he took me to... He took me to task on each claim, whether it was crazy, whether it was deluded, sorry, whether it was uh, deceived by the devil. We went to elaborated on that. Um, and then we came to the lion one. And it's like I've said to him, look, that's all you're going to be left with. Was he lying or was he telling the truth? And you have to be ready. Now, if you can't justify the lie, then you have to concede he's telling the truth. And if he's telling the truth, then you know that what he's saying is from your creator. And if you know what, it's, it's what he's saying is coming from your creator, you know you need to adhere to that message, that guidance, and take it in your life, like it or not. So like I said to Rob, if um, your creator tells your missus to cover, she needs to cover. Anyway, he's gonna do his homework. September the 16th, inshallah, we're back. And um, he's gonna come and try and make the claim Mohammed Sassam's a liar. So inshallah, we look forward to that. Asalaamu Alaikum.